it goes up here into the tank um, maybe that's the return line it just broke hello thanks for watching the video so uh, I've got some edging that I wanted to uh, to do today it's a nice day here and they got my 40 volt Ryobi out um, I usually use that for edging but it's too easy so what we're going to do today is we're going to go and look at my new find here I just got back from the thrift store and I couldn't resist a two cycle we're going to try to use the two cycle now if it's going to take hours and hours and hours we're just going to go ahead and go with 40 volt but uh yeah it's a craftsman I really haven't looked it over that much the only reason I bought it was because it came with two attachments Uh, which I can use Which I can use on you know other um, Other trimmers I could definitely use it on the uh, the Ryobi there as well uh, So yeah, I mean the blade is still pretty good too on this trimmer or on this edge or check that out So uh, yeah, that's that's really why I bought it 20 bucks $20 Now I'll probably be donating this back here well, we're going to check it out and see if we can get it started today. So before even trying to prime it, we're going to pour out whatever gas is in here. Oh, look at that. Okay. It's, it's looking like this was uh, taken care of very well. Indoors, it's clean, so it's pretty much been stored like you would... You would want to store your trimmer, from what I'm guessing. Um, not any cobwebs, not, not been left out in the rain. Let's take a closer look over here. Uh, this attachment has probably been put on here one time. It's very clean. Hasn't been used very much. Handle is still really nice here on this trimmer. Has some dust here. But other than that, we've got a primer bulb that does seem to be um, a little hard. We do have our fuel lines. I'm thinking they're intact. I'm not going to pull on them too much. If you can see that. I'm going to take this cover off. Looks like the exhaust has a little rust on it. I'll take a closer look at that. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can tell it's been stored indoors. I can anyway, so... Let's take the cover off and just using a T20 to uh, remove the screws. Okay, so a little cap goes over the light here. I did just notice that someone had they're still fueling this primer bulb now I didn't prime it in the store so maybe they tried to start it one time and donated it and it wasn't wouldn't start because um, usually that there, if it's been sitting for a while there won't be any more fuel in there but somebody might have somebody at this when they put it out in the store somebody a customer may have came by and pushed it or something as well but uh, yeah, pretty clean, look at it. I'm impressed. This may start after all, who knows? We're gonna try it out, find out. I'm not even gonna check the plug. Um, I did check the compression in the store. Let me set you up here. Here, got a bit of resistance. Okay, so that's okay. And, and the setup on this, you have this line on the top of the carburetor. This goes to the top of the primer purge bulb. And then you have 
this bottom one here on the carburetor it goes up here to the tank um, maybe that's the return line it just broke and you've got this green line that goes from the bottom of the primer or purge bulb to the tank up at the top or front this green line is the return line and then uh, the bottom one on the carburetor that goes to the tank that I just broke is the uh, is the main line with the filter probably can't see it but see the filter right see the filter right there and then if you look closely the green line is right above that sticking up about a half inch you can see that so I'm gonna have to try to find another line while the sun's starting to go down I'm gonna have to find another line to go from here to the filter here okay as I was removing the excess line from this nipple here going to the filter I broke the green line that goes to the uh, bottom of the primer bulb and so I'm going to have to replace that as well what I intend on doing is either pulling this through or pulling it or pushing it into the tank all right so I took the line and where my finger is down here that's where the hole is in the tank we still have some of the line right here that I can grab a hold of so I've got this much at the top so we can put our filter in place. Nice. Okay, now with the remaining at the bottom here, I'll just pull it. And the filter should go back into that hole. I kind of got it with my finger. Don't want to pull on the line too much or it'll disengage it from the filter try to get it to seat okay I think that's uh, that's pretty good right there there's the filter seated now got the line coming through here through this hole here or you could probably do it from the bottom one. One of these. There's a bunch of those, a bunch of holes. So we just need to get it to go right there. And we're going to have to take off the rest of that old line there before putting it on the nipple. All right. Yeah, I like that. All right, now let's get the uh, return line, the green one. For this, I'm using uh, the 332nd inner diameter, uh, 3 16th outer diameter, and it's going to be perfect for that hole. It's not even going to be hard to push it in there. I'm holding the camera doing this, so can't really stabilize the trimmer. I just want you to see that it's not going to be difficult if you use this line for this tank. Okay, so I've got it started. I'm going to push about half an inch um, and then I'm going to cut it down here and put it on right there. Okay, we're going on here. So I'm going to use my other hand and hold the trimmer while I push it on. Well, that's probably good right there. Okay. All right, so we got the line here. Turn, we got our main fuel line. 
connected to the filter going at the bottom now this one hasn't broke yet hopefully it won't this goes from the top of the carb to the top of the purge or primer bulb we need to uh, mix, put some mixture in here I wanted to show you where the plug is plug is down here at the bottom uh, plug looks pretty good to me haven't tested it of course but uh, I don't think there should be a problem with the plug so let me get some fuel mixed up all right we've got our 40 to 1 mixed up should be enough to test it with Here's our filter. It looks pretty good. All right, one more screw. Okay. Prime 10 times. Then you flip it over here and then you pull without throttle. Alright, I guess that's going to be it. I'm going to finish doing some edging. Still have a lot of daylight. Didn't take long. Change those lines. That's the Easy Fire 32cc Craftsman. I think it's going to be a pretty good uh, edger, trimmer. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a nice day. Take care.